Start your geostone wall off by digging a trench at least two feet wide. The depth will depend on the height of the wall, the existing slopes in front of the wall, and the soil conditions. Removal of all loose soils and debris is required for a stable foundation. In this case, we will use the standard embedment of one inch per vertical foot of wall height, plus six inches of finely crushed stone base. Embedment of block below grade is required to protect the foundation from erosion and settling. If possible, begin construction at the lowest point of wall elevation. It is much easier to step the blocks up in a footing than to step down. Set the first course on the footing, leveling each block front to back and side to side using a two foot carpenter's level. A rubber mallet can be used to adjust minor differences in height. Mallets without shock absorbing coatings such as rubber or plastic can cause damage to the blocks and should not be used. Significant adjustments should be made by adding or removing material under the block and smoothing it out with a cement trowel. The simple design of the Geostone module allows for easy handling and the ability to make turns without having to modify the block. String lines should be used as reference points for both alignment as well as elevation. Once the first course is down and level, additional courses may be added. At this point, different sizes can be added to achieve a multiple piece pattern. To achieve proper compaction in the footing, we recommend using a vibrating plate tamp. Randomly cut four inch geostone landscape blocks in half to use as spacing blocks for the multiple piece pattern. A concrete table or rescue saw can be used as long as the blade is made to cut concrete. This is a random pattern, but typically there is one eight inch geostone standard for every four four inch landscape blocks. Quantities may be adjusted to achieve different looks. Typically, the random multiple piece pattern requires approximately double the square footage of four inch geostone landscape block as it does the eight inch standard. What makes this pattern possible is the placement of half blocks at different intervals throughout the wall. These half blocks are a field modification to the block which is made by cutting the four inch landscape blocks in half from face to tail. Measure and mark the blocks before making cuts to ensure symmetry. Cutting multiple blocks and setting the halves off to the side will save time. The cut 
halves will be covered in concrete dust from the saw. This can be sprayed off with a hose once the wall is complete. It is always recommended that the entire wall be pressure washed once completed. Placement of cut blocks in the multiple piece configuration is based on placement of the larger blocks. The idea is to break the horizontal lines as they occur. Align the courses of the wall using a string line as mentioned earlier, but occasionally as the wall is being stacked out, step back and look to see if any blocks are out of alignment. Go along the wall and gently tap in areas that need to be adjusted. It is very important to backfill the wall and compact as the wall comes up. Do not build the entire wall and then fill. One of the keys to the strength of these walls is in the stability of the area immediately behind the block. It is important that this area is rock specifically for its ability to compact as well as drain. Geostone is an open core block with no pins or lips. The way that it interlocks is by filling the center or core with an angular crushed stone, typically referred to as number 67 stone. The weight, combined with friction, creates one of the strongest interlocking wall systems on the market. We call this connection method rock interlock. The area behind the wall must be filled with this material as the wall is constructed. It is not recommended to go more than three or four courses high without core filling the blocks as this can leave voids and possibly compromise connection strength. Geogrid reinforcement is still placed as recommended based on wall height, surcharge, and soil properties. The grids may need to be cut to accommodate the different courses and their varying heights. This concludes our video on the installation of a geostone retaining wall using the multiple piece procedure. Please refer to geostone.com for further details on wall construction. Thank you for choosing geostone.